So right now we're going to discover ooh, some interesting information about our different angle relationships, our corresponding angles, our alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, and same side exterior angles. Well, if I'm given that the measure of angle 6 and the measure of angle 2 are both 75 degrees, We can find out all of our other angles as well. If this is 75, I know this is 105 because those two are supplementary. Now with 2 and 4 here, I know these are vertical angles, so I know this will be 75 and this will be 105. So we also have vertical angles with 1 and 3. And I can do the same thing over on the other set of angles. So let's take a look here. We're asked to put a check mark next to any of these that are congruent. So let's look at corresponding angles first. Well, I know 1 and 5 are corresponding, 4 and 8, 3 and 7, 2 and 6, those are all corresponding. And guess what? They are all congruent. So, yep, we're good there. How about our alternate interior angles? Well, that would be like 4 and 6, 75 and 75, 5 and 3, 105, 105, congruent once again. Alternate exterior, 1 and 7, same thing. Once again, these are congruent. Next, we have same side Interior, so we're talking about like four, five, three, and six. Well, they're not congruent, but what are they? Ooh, very nice. They are supplementary. And the same side exterior, we're looking at like one and eight. One and eight, right there and there. Once again, these are supplementary. So we have our first three right here. These are congruent. And then the last two are supplementary. Now we're going to use this information in section 5.3. We're going to be able to determine if two angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal are congruent, supplementary, or neither. We're also going to use parallel lines to solve a crook problem. These are super fun. So let's list out all those awesome theorems that we just learned together. Well, the first one will be if we have parallel lines cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. And that's how we can write it out for our reason and our proof. This would be in the reason section for our proof, this whole thing. If we have parallel lines, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Let's write the rest. So there we have it. Parallel lines, then alternate exterior angles congruent. Parallel lines, our corresponding angles are congruent. If we have parallel lines, then our same side interior angles are supplementary. And parallel lines and same side exterior angles are also supplementary. So in this problem, we're given that a and B are parallel. It's lines A and B are parallel, and they're cut by transversal T. We want to find the values of X and Y. Okay. Well, let's think about our different angle measure or our angle relationships that we just learned about, and the different awesome, super cool theorems that we just wrote down. See if we can apply them here. Well, let's see here. I've got this one here, this one here. These are both of X. Do we have a, a relationship between these two? Ooh, I do. They're alternate exterior. What do I know about those? They are congruent. So I would have 4X minus 55 equals 2X plus 5. I could solve for X. So I'd have 2X equals, if I add 55, I get 60. So X equals 30. I'm halfway there because it asks for the values of X and Y. So I've got one of them. Now we've got to find the other. Well, let's look at our y's here. Do I know anything about the relationship between these y's here? Ooh, I do. I do. They're same side interior. Well, what do I know about same side and interior? They are supplementary to each other. So I have 3y minus 20 plus y plus 20 equals 180. Let's combine my like terms. I get 4y. And I have negative 20 and positive 20. Those just cancel out. I'm left with the 180 then on the right-hand side. Divide by 4. When I divide by 4, I get y equals 45. Do I have both my answers? Find the values of x and y. Yes, I do. I am done -zo. So this next one is a little bit different. The question is asking, are g and h parallel? So I'm wondering, are these two lines parallel to each other after they're being cut by this transversal right here? So there's a couple things to think about. Now, some of us might be like, oh, if they're parallel, then these two are supplementary. So let's add those two together and set them equal to 180. However, do we know that these two are supplementary? No, we don't. So we can't use what we don't know to try and solve the problem. What do I know? I do know that these two have to be congruent. Why? That's very good, because they're vertical angles. Man, you are so smart. You are so smart. That's right. So these two have to be congruent because they're vertical angles. Let's set them equal to each other and solve for x. 
So to solve for x, I can subtract 4x, I get negative 2x over here. Subtract the 5, I get negative 20 over here. Divide by negative 2. So I get x equals positive 10. Am I done? No, I'm not. Well, what I got to do is I got to plug that 10 back in. I want to see, are these two supplementary? Because if these two are supplementary, I know they're parallel because if the same side interior angles are supplementary, then I have parallel lines. So if I plug that in, I have 40 minus 15 gives me 25. And here, if I plug 2 in, I get 20 minus 15 gives me 5. So 25 plus 5, I'm pretty positive that does not equal 180. So we're going to say... No, they are not parallel. Let's check out this super awesome proof. I know you guys love proofs. Well, first thing we want to do with a proof, let's write down that given information. Now that we've got that given written down, we're ready to rock. Let's label this diagram here. I know that YZ is parallel to CA, so I do that with those little arrows there. I know that CY is congruent to AY. All right, and that's basically everything that I have my given. Well, where can I go from here? I want to prove, let's keep this in mind, I want to prove YZ bisects AYB. So let's think, how, how am I going to prove that YZ bisects AYB? Well, if I'm trying to bisect this angle here, I'm going to end up with two congruent angles. So somehow I need to prove, and I'll put this in red, somehow I need to prove that those two angles are congruent. All right, so we want to prove this. Okay, so i got to get there somehow. Well, I know that with parallel lines, I can get some congruent angles. If you have parallel lines, I know that I can get some congruent angles. Well, I think I could probably prove that this angle here is congruent to this angle here because I have two parallel lines being cut by this transversal. So I'll have my alternate interior angles, this one here and this one here being congruent to each other. So there's a start. Now let's think about what else we might have. Hmm, I got those two. Well, I also have these two guys right here and here. So let's see here. If I, uh, and I'll use a different color here. If I got those two segments congruent, wouldn't I have these two angles congruent? Okay. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. I've also got another one. I've got... Angle C here is going to be congruent to this angle here, angle ZYB, because they're corresponding angles with the two parallel lines and this transversal. So we got a whole bunch of angles here. I wonder if we can somehow transitive property these angles together to get a couple congruent angles. Let's see here. Let's start writing some stuff down. Let's go ahead and start with, well, since these two sides are congruent, I know that these two green angles are congruent. And I know those two are congruent because if the sides are congruent, then the angles are congruent. So there's the first part. I also mentioned my alternate interior angles being congruent because of these two parallel lines being cut by Y, A as my transversal. Let's write that down. Let's keep moving. I said something about my corresponding angles earlier. Angle C here with this one up here. Let's write that down. I know that I have two parallel lines being cut by this transversal, CB, and that forms those two corresponding angles, which we know are congruent. So I've got a whole, lot, a whole lot of angles congruent here. Let's see if I can make a chain. Let's see if I can chain them together and use transitive property to prove that these two angles are congruent, which would then give me YZ bisecting angle AYB. So let's see here. If this one here is congruent to this one here, I know that, right? That was from step number four there, my corresponding angle is congruent. And then in step number two, actually, we said if sides and angles, so these green angles were congruent, so I'm there. And then how do I know that these two angles are congruent? Well, I know that these two angles are congruent because their alternate interior angles are, are congruent when we have parallel lines. So these two are congruent. So therefore, I've gone from here to here, here to here, and then this guy to this one here. So I have actually proven these two angles congruent by transitive property. Let's go ahead and write that down. And lastly, since those two angles are congruent, I know that YZ bisects angle AYB by definition of bisect. It splits it into two congruent angles. And remember, when you're bisecting an angle, you're going to get two congruent angles. If you're bisecting a segment, you're going to get two congruent segments. I mean, think about it this way. If I were to bisect a piece of pizza, I'm not going to get two halves of a cookie. 
I'm going to get two pieces of pizza. So keep the like things with the like. Okay? Bippity boppity. Let's keep moving. Oh, man, a crook problem. These are super awesome, super cool, and fun. And there's a little trick to help you solve these problems. Because right now, finding angle one, that'd be kind of tricky. But there's something awesome that we can do that I'm going to show you guys right now. I will let you in on the secret because, you know, I love math, and I want you to love math as well, and I want to give you some knowledge. All right, if I draw on this line here and I say this line is parallel to those other ones, well, what kind of angles do I have right here and here? Ooh, those are alternate interior angles, which are congruent when you have parallel lines. Now, if you don't see that, think about it this way. What if I put this guy right here? Now we see we have transversal, two parallel lines. This is my alternate interior right here. So that would be 62 degrees. Now for the next part, think of it as, well, let's get a different color in here. Let's think of this as, pew, there's my transversal now. Well, now I have my two parallel lines, the green and the black one here, and then the blue is my transversal. Well, this line right, or this angle right here is going to be supplementary to this one right here. Well, a supplement of 144 would be 36 degrees. So add those two together, I get 98 degrees. Now, that's a solid band right there and the answer to our problem. All right? who, who doesn't love 98 degrees? Oh, probably all of you because you probably weren't even born yet. Let's try another one. Now, what I'd like you to do is to try this on your own. So maybe pause it first and try it on your own and see if you can get it. Let's draw on that, uh, that third line here which is parallel to those other two. We're drawing it in. We're, we're drawing it in as being parallel. All right. Now, if this right here is 48 degrees, let's think of that. Remember, this is like our transversal now. So these two angles right here and here are alternate interior. So that's also 48 degrees because they're congruent. This one right here, also an alternate interior to the 54. So this is also 54 right in here. And when I add those two together, 54 plus 48 gives me 102. Boom. Dynamite, baby. Woo! In case you need a little more practice with these crook problems, feel free to try this one. Hit play when you're ready. Let's draw that third line in there that's parallel to the other two because we're drawing it in parallel. Now, if this one right here is 50, this is a corresponding angle to that 50, so this is also 50 right here. And if this one is 100, this is the same side interior, so it's supplementary to it. So I'm going to have 80. Well, 50 plus 80 is going to give me 130. There we go. Bippity bop. Just don't stop. Here's your homework. Have fun with it. I know you will. I always have fun doing my math homework, too. I just, you know, there's nothing more joyful than doing some math homework. Good luck, and make sure you check your answers online.